Okay, so we're back for another episode, round 10 this is, and um, we're taking on the, uh, sorry, not Warriors, taking on the Panthers who are in 16th spot, so they're coming last on track for the Wooden Spoon, and um, we have to see the change I made, I think I've only made one change, um, yeah, so last, last episode I talked about um, signings for, like, sorry, like the Eels and um, a little bit about the Bulldogs and, you know, um, just a little bit everywhere in um, signings. And I think for this episode, I want to talk specifically about like the Warriors and their signings, and more of um, like them not signing people. Um, so yeah, we got <laughs> we're taking on Penrith at Centre, but no, it's not not called Centre, but I don't think anymore. I don't get why Lewis Brown is he's always in the centres on here. Uh, it's very weird. He must be um, a centre in this. Actually, th speaking of um, like positions and stuff, um, I think there was a patch. A patch um, for this game came out on the 11th of September. Or September 11th. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to skip this. And it just changed like um, some of the rosters and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I think you should have... You probably would have noticed already, but just worth noting, but I, was, I think that's all it did, just changed, um, yeah, just player positions and that sort of stuff, but uh, the game started, so, um, oh yeah, the person I brought in was, um, I took Jerome Party out, and I brought Dave Nielsen back in, I just had to try give him another go, um, he is a good player, so I couldn't leave him out, so, for the like, third time, I'm going to try and get onto my topic, and, uh, yeah, like I said before, it is um, the topic of the Warriors and their signings. Now, I think it's been well documented that uh, Sam Tompkins has been a, a target of theirs. And there's been lots of little reports that they like he'd already signed and that sort of stuff. And um, I was convinced he'd signed. I, I thought he'd signed. Um, I think he would be a good signing if it happened for them. But uh, evidently, he hasn't signed. Nothing's been, nothing official's come out. Oh, Nilsson pushes him off. He's very slow in this. Fishyahi. How the hell did they catch Fishyahi? Oh, I thought Shawnee Johnson was just gonna step his way through there. Oh, a good tackle. How is that not in goal? Doesn't matter. Smashed him. Justice has been served. The hands of justice were upon them. Believe in the shield. No, I'm just kidding. Um. So yeah, oh, this is a great tackle. Sam Tompkins, yeah, he is probably the best England player. I mean, I, c I can't say that uh, that for sure because I haven't really watched much. I think the only game I've actually seen of him, and I just flicked through it, was um the the Challenge Cup final. And to be fair, they didn't play great. Um, it wasn't a great game. And I don't think. Actually, I've watched a few Super League games. I was like, I'm not with him in it, but I think like everyone wants to, everyone likes to bag out the Super League. Um, and I guarantee 95 percent of them have never watched Super League. So I thought I'd give it a shot myself. And you know, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't the greatest, but I don't think it's as bad as what everyone says it is. So it, I think it's better than reserve grade and better than 20s. So if it they see people um, kind of hypocritical. Though it's like, oh well, um, he only looks good because he's playing against shit competition in um, in the Super League, even though he could be playing for the top sides. Yeah, people will be happy signing. Um, like, um, I don't know, for example, but um, you know, a player will play a standout game against, like this year, if they played like a real good game against the Eels or the Tigers or someone, everyone, be, like Luke Brooks, this, he's been ripping up in the under 20s and he's played one game against probably the worst side in the comp, oh sorry, not worst, like third worst side in the comp, and that being Dragons, that everyone's already hailing this kid as a superstar. Oh, I thought we were going to score there for sure, going down short side. Oh, get infield. Oh, wow, I didn't even pass that just then. That was annoying. I did not pass that. I just did it automatically. 
or he dropped it or something. God, that is frustrating as hell. Oh, they're very tired. Very, very tired. Mentoring needs to come off. Oh, what was I talking about? Yeah, just to, like, yeah, so everyone came out and said Luke Brooks was, he's the next Andrew Johns and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, everyone, is, but then those same people probably be like, oh yeah, Sam Tompkins, yeah, he only versus, um, he only versus Super League players, he's pretty crap. Um, I think people actually need to watch the games before commenting. I know, I know, like, I, I haven't watched the games either, so I'm being a hypocrite myself, but I've watched YouTube clips of him, um, I had, I did, had to study like Super League pretty hard, um, for like the last few months, just because I was trying to do, um, for school, I was doing something with NRL and Super League, and, um, I kind of worked out who their better players are, and, uh, Sam Tompkins, definitely the best fullback, by far, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I think he also played halfback, so, um, people saying Kevin Locke would be definitely be moving on. Just think, I think Lulai, I'm not sure, I don't think he signed up on this year, if he is, um, yeah, my bad, but, oh, he, I guess he's, he's playing alright now, he might be playing for a contract, well, he played okay in the last few weeks, but, um, yeah, I don't think he's 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 getting he's already old, so I can't say he's like a long term prospect for them. Whereas um Tompkins Locke is uh, I think he has a lot of potential and um he'll come good. I think he'll be like a barber, he'll come good eventually. Like Barber had a breakout year last year. I think I'll see year before he did pretty good. Kevin Locke's done some really cool stuff like Barber, the same age. Um you know, similar players. Bombing it. Lachlan Koo, he's a gun in this game. I don't get it. Uh, looking at two losses in a row. This is not good. Yeah, Kevin Lock, I think... I think they'd be better off st sticking with him at fullback. Uh, although, they don't really have an organiser then. Uh, I don't, I'm not too sure if Lula is an organiser anyway. Because I, I definitely think Johnson isn't. I think Johnson's actually more of a 5'8 than a halfback, but, you know, um, like positions, I don't, I don't think those two positions are that different. It's just, every, like, I don't, that's why I don't get in Origin. Um, they seem to think, except for Thurston, he was like the only one, given an exception, but now he's playing 5'8, that you have to be playing 5'8 to, um, oh, like, two halfbacks come, oh, shit. So if someone's playing 5-8 and playing awesome, just because they're wearing a number 6, they can't play halfback for New South Wales or Queensland or whatever. Which I think is really weird because they're practically, for instance, I'm just going to use that as an example, like, for the Bulldogs, Trent Hawkinson is, like, the halfback of the left-hand side, and then Josh Reynolds' halfback of the right-hand side. They're not, they're not really separate positions anymore. They're pretty much the same thing. Just it just varies on the sides that they're they're on. That's just that, that's just my opinion. But every other time, if I just pressed that, it would have went um, right across. Would have did a cut up pass, but that time it actually went to lock, and I didn't want it to. <sighs> Veterans starting to annoy me. The games are pretty boring, and on this, just because they're so hard to break down. Please, ah, oh, didn't bounce. See, you just can't get them to bounce. In real life, as if the whole team would have just ran back to it straight away as soon as the ball lifted in the air. Palavi. I try to come out in the line with him. Him for a big hit. Fishy Yahi. I was hoping that was Vatify. I always forget what um, side of the field players are on. So sorry if I'm like calling out the wrong name. Kevin Leguama. I honestly thought that was Seguiero there. Sorry. I hope that didn't sound racist or anything. Oh my god, Vatavai should have ran straight over the top of him. Thomas Lulaloi. 
Okay, we gotta go for. Oh, where is he? Oh, we would have scored there. I think. Oh, Harold. You're so bad. It's actually kind of like real life. Harold, I'm um, very hot and cold. Okay, I need to get back on topic again. So, uh, yeah, I'll just talk about Sam Tompkins. A little bit about Kevin Locke, potentially moving. Oh, Harold's, Harold's away. There we go, there's a hot and cold talking about. Showing the speed. Getting to the line. Should even it up here. Oh, I'll put Sean Johnson back in the goal kicking. He had the best stats of the side. Um, so, yeah. Well, we've been in the league around this one is. Um, but they've signed Chad Townsend um, from the Sharks. He's like their reserve grade player. He is an o I think he's an okay player. I don't think he's going to be... I wouldn't have him as my first choice. Halfback or 5'8 or whatever. I'd say he's just there for depth. Which I don't, I don't understand. There must be more money. But um, they've got God and A and stuff. Or he could be going there to play hooker, possibly. Nathan Friends off contract, I'm pretty sure. I think I've said that a lot of times. Oh, do we go for a 40 20? Depends on where he is. Oh, that shit. That is crap. Oh, that was out by a heap. I don't like the camera angle for this for kicking. So much harder to get a good kick off. They're going to take a field goal here. Pretty obvious. I need the, I need the intercept. Put him over the sideline. Oh no. Oh, they're going to take on right now. Oh, they can't take on now, can they? Oh, I thought Johnson was just going to race away there. Sorry for the awkward pauses. Seem to do it all the time. Oh, Fujiyahi. That's another reason why I don't like this camera angle, but it's just better for the viewers. Um, oh, here we go, Johnson. Oh, no, I'm so sick of golden points, for God's sakes. I think I might have to turn the difficulty down on this just because it's so boring, these games. There's not enough time to get like an entertaining game, so I think I'm going to have to tone these ones down a little bit. I've got another series coming out that's on Legendary, so I guess you just can watch that then. Because uh, I play it for a little bit longer, and they're not live comms and anything, so. Oh, it's gone in for the shoulder charger then. I honestly cannot be bothered doing the interchanges, so sorry if your favourite player's on there. I'm just going to leave these guys on for now. Coot. He must be playing 5-8 or something now. He's got the playmaker symbol on him. Okay, we're going to get the ball back in hope good field position. Hopefully we can get back up to about our 40. That'd be ideal. No, we're going to get that easy. Okay, it wasn't that easy, but we got there. Man, Johnson in real life with that little bounce, that probably would have resulted in Johnson making a line break there. Just can't get over Aaron N. I want I wanted um Will I there to go inside but Oh just drawing and passing. Oh big Manu <gasps> This game man this game Why why would Lul I be out in the wing there on this stage? I, could, I don't want to pass anything because it looks stupid if I have like a prop kicking fuel goals. I just don't want to do that. Oh, I thought Elijah Taylor come out and put a shoulder charge on. Obviously, none of these guys are good enough. So they're not in the same league as the Bulldogs forwards. 
big car. Oh, he's knocked it on. Beautiful stuff there. We got a minute and a half of game time. We're in game time to get this. I think we can maybe score straight up here. Dane Nielsen. To my prediction. Or not. We'll take another hit up. we we'll take one more. Nielsen from dummy half. Oh no, we're just going to go now. Don't have enough time. He's kicked it. Beautiful Sean Johnson. 7-6 win. We knocked the Panthers off. Doing there with that awkward pause while he's lining like, line up the power or whatever. Charging the power bar. Stupid animation, but whatever. They should just have it so when you're doing that, you sort of take little steps forward as if you would in real life because you don't see a person in real life just stand there and then all of a sudden just do a kicking motion and it goes over. Usually they sort of walk into it a little bit or kick, run into it. You know what I mean? Like you do that sort of little like hop step thing. You go into it. If you've kicked a ball, you understand what I mean. So, uh, round 10 results. We got 16 rounds left, a lot to go, a lot of episodes. Hope you're enjoying the series. Um, Broncos won 9 to 2. Another field goal, Jesus Christ. Wallace. What are you on there? Eels won. Roosters won. Raiders just won. Knights beat the Bulldogs. Just right, real life. Bulldogs can't beat the Knights. See, Eagles beat the Storm. I uh, see so some buyers coming up now. So, Tigers. Tigers had the buyers, did Rabbitohs. Interesting. Look at the table now. Knights are still in first. Um, they're not doing much for us. Um, like the, the Knights are going pretty well. Bulldogs didn't help us, you say. There's the. Whatever, Delian. Little line friend up there. Kevin Locke is also there. And that's it for us. In, I don't know, I guess that's a top 10 or something, probably. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'll probably go do some of the Bulldogs one now. Or some Rugby League manager, but, uh,. I'll see you next time for the next episode. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but uh, yeah, it'll be against. We'll see who we're versing. The Knights all round top of the table clash. We'll give them a belt and okay. I'll see you then. Um, yeah, bye.